Daniel's duck was written. Uh, it was it was more an observational poem of any the, more an observational poem than anything else. It was it was actually a literal record of something that happened, but because of what happened, it became an exploration of a child's exploring the outer world and exploring death. What happened was um, my father gave me a couple of, of mallard duck that he shot. And I don't know if, if you know, but you, you put a little noose around their necks. And, and so I walked down the road to a neighbor of mine and I gave her one of these mallards. And she just slipped it over the knob of, the, of one of the presses. And there were, they, she had other children in as well as her own, and they were all at the table. And so she she did this. It was quite a cold day, and we just sat down and had tea, and the children were having dinner. So this is the poem that came out of it. I held out the shot mallard. She took it from me, looped its next string over a drawer of the dresser. The children were looking on, half caught. Then the kitchen life, warm, lit glowing, moved forward, taking in the dead bird and its coldness, its wildness were leeching away. The children were sitting to their dinners, us too, drinking tea, hardly noticing the child's quiet slide from his chair, his small absorbed body before the duck's body, the duck changing, feral, live, arrowing up out of black sloblands and the gleam of a river falling away below. Then the duck dead again, hanging from the draw knob, the green head, brown neck running into the breast, the intricate silvery greyness of the back, the wings, their white bars and blue flashes, the feet, their snaky orange scaliness, small claws, piteous webbing, the yellow beak blooded, the hole like a weighted sack, all that downward dragoness of death. He hovered, took a step forward, a step back. Something appeared in his face, some knowledge of a place where he stood, the world stilled, the lit streaks of sunrise running off red, into the high bowl of morning. She watched him, moving to touch his hand out. What is it, Daniel? Do you like the duck? He turned as though caught in the act, saw the gentleness in her face, and his body loosened. I thought there was water on it. He was finding the words one by one, holding them out, to see would they do us, but there isn't. He added this on, going small with relief that his winged rag of sounds was enough. 